It is a tough time. These guys have been together since OTAs, since April all the way till now, just building relationships, gelling with guys, creating that chemistry, creating that football bond. And next week is hard. You like you got to say goodbye to guys. You know, everyone can't stay. New guys are going to come in. Your guys that are here now are going to have to go off and go to new teams or end up what we call it on the streets, just out there waiting, waiting for an opportunity, waiting for a job, having to just work out without any vision. And so at one point I was there. I was that guy having to watch preseason, having to watch regular season games and it's not a fun place to be and so on. For these guys, no matter what happens, keep going, keep fighting, keep believing, keep staying in shape, and in due time, you hopefully get your opportunity. Well, let's look at some of the key dates coming up for the uh, NFL and, of course, the Seahawks. They've got the final cut-down date on Tuesday. They've got to get it all done, down to 53 men on the roster by 1 p.m. Pacific time Tuesday, so some work to do there. Uh, and then there's more work to do. As you see, they've got to establish the practice squad and then the regular season opener just around the corner because we know time flies. We had a chance to sit down with General Manager John Schneider yesterday and he said he's going to treat he and his staff are going to treat the next few days with all of these releases as you mentioned uh, the players will be cut from other teams they're going to treat it like a draft absolutely he said what he wants to do is just really take these guys and teach them and educate them on what they did good what's something they can improve on he's not just going to let guys go off hey we'll see you when you see you they're going to actually spend time with these guys invest in them really show them the tape on this is what you can do better if you want to make the 53 man roster so I love the approach that they're taking with these guys Guys and with their departure and another thing that he's going to that I'm looking forward to see him doing is the waiver wire who is he going to bring on to this football team where's that extra little piece to the puzzle that we can add to help us take this thing to a new level and so I'm looking for the interior defensive line okay I love our starting guys but I want to see those backup guys really come in and we have a really solid rotation and so a lot of guys get cut. I believe it's over a thousand young men will get released throughout the preseason. But there's going to be some gems when 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 the deadline comes. And so I'm excited to see how he operates, how he moves, how he puts all these pieces to the puzzle. So they already have a good roster. I need them to take it to great. I think you make a good point. It's not just right now. It's throughout the season because, unfortunately, in this collision sport, there are a lot of injuries throughout the season. We saw the Seahawks bring in Quandre Diggs on a, in a midseason trade yeah. with the Lions. You never can tell because it's always going to be revolving. Yes. It Everything happened. Week one, week two, something is going to happen. And it's all about how do we adjust? How do we operate as a team? What pieces do we make? If a guy has an injury for four weeks, do we wait for him to get back healthy? Or do we go make a move and bring a guy in to help us keep, keep you know get over that hump? And so it's all about it's all about chess. It's all about chess moves. Making a move here, making a move there. But at the end of the day, you gotta keep evolving. And so you have a really good core. You have a really good roster. You have a really good quarterback outstanding receivers and so it's all about keeping those guys here and just adding pieces to the puzzle to help those guys take their game to a new level well it's been a lot of fun working with you in the preseason kj i mean this guy you as fans and as sports casters we <laughs> think we know a lot about the sport then you sit down with a guy who played 11 <laughs> years at seahawks great and kj right i'm not just kissing up to you it's yeah. been an education for the viewers and for me as well it's been great man i enjoyed it thank you guys so much for having me we got to do it again soon